What's going on everybody? Jason here and today we're gonna take a look at this 2021 Ram 1500 Limited Longhorn Edition in the 10th anniversary package. Starting off in the front of this Ram 1500 Longhorn, you'll notice that it carries a lot of similarities from the Ram Limited. As you can see, the headlights in the front, it is exactly the same LED lights that comes on the, you know, the higher trim level, which is the Limited. Also on this particular truck, you've got the chrome grille with the body color bumper. But if you want everything blacked out, your blacked out grille and the badging and everything, you'll have to go with the Limited in the Night Edition package. And as for the body color bumper, this is an upgraded option. Typically, this will also be in chrome, but you can get this body colored with the color of your choice. Also at the bottom, you've got your fog lights on both sides and then your bright tow hooks at the bottom there. And then you've got some integrated front uh, sensors here along with your forward facing camera for your forward collision warning and all of that and like I mentioned the grill is all chromed out along with the Ram badging is chromed out as well and one thing I like on these Longhorns and the Limiteds are these LED headlights which look absolutely beautiful and on this particular truck because you get the chrome grill all of this bezeling around the headlights is chromed out as well which looks very very nice and flush and it just looks like one big piece and up top on the hood you've got you know a traditional 1500 hood Again, these lines look very, very nice. You can't really see it from here, but if you take a look at it in person, these lines just make this hood stand out even more. Of course, this being a V8 Hemi, you've got your 1500 badging here in chrome as well, and then the Hemi 5.7 liter badging as well. And then of course, on the side, you've got Ram and then limited Longhorn edition uh, badging as well on the sides. Looking at it from the side view angle, this truck looks absolutely phenomenal with those 22 inch upgraded wheels, which I'll cover in a second. And everything in the chrome, even the front grille and then your side mirrors in chrome, it just looks very, very nice along with the chrome bezeling around the windows all around. It just looks really, really cool. And this particular color is called Patriot Blue. It's a very beautiful color, especially when the sun is shining, the truck is fully clean, looks very, very nice. As for the upgraded wheels, these are the 22 inch aluminum polished wheels with the black inserts that you see on each of the corners right there. I think these are very, very nice looking wheels, especially if you're going to get a Longhorn or a Limited, you definitely need to upgrade to these wheels as they look very, very nice all around the truck. Moving on to the rear of the Longhorn, you've got your LED tail lights right here with the sensors over here for your blind spot monitoring. And of course, you've got another badge that says Limited Longhorn Edition. And then you've got your typical Ram logo in the bright chrome along with your 4x4 chrome badging as well. In the rear tailgate handle, you've also got your backup camera, which is traditional, uh, built in right to the handle, which is very, very nice and nicely tucked away. Like I mentioned, this is the 10th anniversary Longhorn Edition. And with that, you get this multifunctional tailgate, which I'll cover in a second. And you also get a bunch of other goodies that come with the 10th anniversary package. Moving on to the bottom here of the rear bumper, of course, you've got more uh, parking sensors in the back for your rear parking sensors. You've got a dual exhaust which has chrome tips on both sides. Looks absolutely beautiful. You've got your hitch and then you've got your wiring stuff here for your trailer and you're ready to go. And because this is a multifunctional tailgate, typically you would have your step to get into the bed right here, but being a multifunctional, it's actually located right beside the exhaust. Also, this truck is equipped with the air suspension. I'm not sure if you can see that little canister. That is for the air suspension. And right now the truck is at entry level, exit level, uh, ride height, which is the lowest it goes. Um, in a bit, I'll show you how high it goes as well. Opening up the real tailgate, like a traditional tailgate, you've got your spray and bed liner ready to go. And you've got your adjustable tie down hooks on both sides. You've got four of those and you can move them along this rail and just adjust whatever you need to. Of course, you've got your traditional built in ones on the four corners, along with your LED lighting on both sides. If you wanna open this tailgate the other way, there's a little latch right here. You push down, it comes out for one side, and then there's another little lever right here. You open this, and you can open your tailgate this way as well. Also at the back, because this has your air suspension, the Ram air suspension, you also get a little sticker on the rear window as well, letting you know that you're equipped with that. As for the key for this truck, a very traditional 1500 key. You've got your lock, unlock, your tailgate release, 
you can actually lower your truck right from the key fob but if you want to raise it you have to do it from inside of the truck you can also remote start it panic button and on the back you've got this nice ram longhorn lettering logo whatever you want to call it right on the back with the press of a button you can open your tailgate it's a soft opening so it does not damage your truck and seeing how this bad boy sounds you double click give it a second and it comes to life and as for what powers this limited longhorn of course it's a hemi 5.7 liter v8 engine and this is pumping out 395 horsepower along with 410 foot pound of torque because this truck has keyless entry if you press this little chrome button right here it locks the truck and have the key with you come up close and it'll unlock the truck also when you open the doors you do get your power side steps which come down and once you close the doors after a couple of seconds they fold right back up coming into the rear as you can see this truck is totally filled out with the color brown and this is part of the 10th anniversary package because this is the only color that you can get it's called mountain brown if you take a look at the rear door you get this wood trim here along all the doors it's everywhere in the truck i'll show you you also get this nice longhorn design which comes with the longhorn trucks you've got some space here and over here and of course this truck cannot be complete with the harman kardon sound system sounds absolutely beautiful also you've got this suede type feeling right here which goes along all over on all of the door sills you will get a chrome ram badging right here which looks really really nice and you know with the chrome grill and everything i think this ties in perfectly at the rear here you get more limited longhorn edition badging inside and these seats honestly look very very nice uh it, it, for me it is a lot of brown but again i am starting to love this type of a color combination uh, i think it looks really really nice and unique right here you've got more suede you've got this nice feel to the leather which of course is very very comfortable and even the piping and the stitching and everything is also brown which is very very unique to this truck in the back also if you look underneath the seats you have this little lever this is to recline your seats they recline i believe about eight degrees and it goes with this seat and the seat over there which of course you can sit back here in comfort also in the back on both sides you do get this little cubby hole to put any of your storage stuff or whatever you need to put in here uh, just a little bit of extra storage space on both sides hopping into the truck behind the driver's seat you also get more of this suede feeling a lot of leather everywhere and you get this unique longhorn design which is only on the longhorn trucks you get a little bit of space in here to put any of your stuff and the same thing is on that side in the center console at the back again you get more wood trim back here which this looks very very premium and makes the truck even more luxurious you get two vents back here two cup holders up top a little bit of storage space and the seats back here are heated and ventilated which is amazing also you get this plug right here which you can plug whatever you need to get some usb ports as well up top you've got two more speakers a part of that harman kardon package and again it sounds very very nice especially inside the cabin sounds like you're in a concert if we pull down this handrest in the middle here you get two more cup holders right there and you get more leather type feeling again very very luxurious feeling if you open this up you can put a little bit of storage in here and then you just shut that and then push this back up and that's it also you'll notice all of the grab handles in the truck on either sides front and back are also wrapped in leather and it's a very high quality leather feels very very nice coming over to the driver's side again that step comes down and you get more of the wood trim more of that design i showed you in the back along with more leather and the brown stitching again you get the same amount of storage space up here down here and you get also get for your cup holders as well you got your speaker here for the Harman Kardon and one right up there you also got your traditional window controls power folding mirrors and of course memory seats and coming down here you've got your foot pedals nothing really fancy up top you've got your e-brake and then your power adjustable pedals which you can move forward and back and then of course you've got your uh, hood latch release in the center there coming up top of that you've got your lighting controls this is your fog light button and then your bed lighting right here and then your dimmers are right here coming to the driver's side seat and even on the passenger side again you get this nice suede feeling along with this nice feeling leather 
it, and it goes all around the the seats also more badging limited longhorn edition badging on both seats the driver and passenger and also at the rear again this interior just looks very very unique and very nice and of course these seats are power adjustable both the driver and passenger entering the truck you'll see that there's tons and tons of mountain brown leather everywhere and it just looks really really nice up in the corners both sides you've got more of your Harman Kardon speakers in the center there as well and down in the corner over there up in the center cluster you've got more wood trim right here along with the RAM badging and then you've got your 12 volt adapter right here as well on the steering wheel itself you've got this kind of like a smooth wood finish right here leather on the sides and then more wood trim down here again very very luxurious and it actually feels very sturdy and nice as well on the actual steering wheel you've got controls for your center gauge cluster along with your bluetooth settings adaptive cruise control and then your cruise control settings right here and then your gear limiter selection right here in the center you've got this matte silver finish type of a ram logo which looks really really nice and when you start this truck up you are welcomed with that 10th anniversary special badging as well in the center cluster and up top right there you get more longhorn badging right there as well and you get special coloring as well like the kind of like a light brown in between your gauge clusters and all of that which looks really really nice you've got your rpm over here speed over there and in the center i'll go over a second there's a bunch of different options that you can kind of cover and customize how you need to do with the truck so in the center obviously you can see your speed you can see your vehicle information off-road information driver assist information fuel economy information trip info you've got your audio messages settings and then you come back to your speed over here also on this truck you've got the technology package which i'm not sure if you can see that little flickering right there that right there it's not going to flicker in person it's just through the camera but that is your heads up display which is brand new for the 2021 ram models also up here for your rear view mirror you've got the normal one and then you've also got a digital rear view mirror of course you've got your push button start and surrounding that of course more wood trim absolutely beautiful right under that you've got your gear knob here and then your off-road settings as well whatever you want to put it into now if we move on to the center handrest again you've got tons and tons of leather again uh, along with the uh, brown stitching right here also being a 10th anniversary you've got this special badging for the 10th anniversary for the longhorn which is another cool little touch that ram did and if you go ahead open up the first section here you've got a little bit of room to put whatever you need to here along with your usb port in there you close that and you open up the main section you've got again which is completely standard on all of the trucks is this measurement table i guess you can call it and then you've got a ton of room inside here and this section actually moves back and forward which I'm kind of struggling, but there you are. And you've got space in there and space back here and a little bit underneath, of course, as well. Coming right above that, you've got more wood trim right here. Again, this trim and wood, it feels really, really nice. If you open this up, you've got a little bit of storage in here. And then of course, you've got your cup holders in here as well. And you guessed it, more wood trim. Over at the bottom, you've got another, uh, you know, 115 volt plug in here. You've got wireless charging here for your phone and you can actually hold two phones in here. You got a little bit of storage in here and then your USB ports over here along with your auxiliary ports. Right above that, you've got a bunch of buttons here. You've got your front and rear parking sensors, your tow mode, your traction control, and then this is your suspension settings. Right now, it's at the very lowest. It's called the entry exit point and it lowers the truck as much as it can and in a second or in a little bit i'll show you the highest setting that i can put it on and this is the massive 12 inch screen that you get on the ram trucks as an optional upgrade that you can do and it looks absolutely beautiful there's a ton of things that you can do in here and with the piano black type it just looks really really nice and blends in perfectly so up top you've got your lane departure warning and then you've got your perpendicular assist for your, you know, it, it, this truck actually helps you park perpendicularly. If you're really bad at that, like I am, it'll help you. You've got heating and cooling controls on the sides here, actual buttons that you can touch. Or if you want, you just press climate and you can actually touch the screen and do all of that rather than pressing these buttons. I like this a lot more better. Just, you know, slide whatever you need to. It makes it super, super simple. Right beside that, you've got your traditional media section and you've got your controls here. For your driver's side, you've got heated seats, vented seats, and heated steering wheel. And the same thing for passenger heated and vented seats. In this middle row here, you've got the mirror dimmer up top. 
uh, your deployable bed step, which you can press and deploy it manually, your backup camera and surround camera. If we go ahead and press backup camera, this image pops up obviously of the backup camera that's located and integrated into the rear handle of the tailgate. You can zoom in and zoom out of however you need to, which is really, really cool. And if we click on the surround camera, this will just give you more options. You can see the top view of the camera, rear view, and then you get another one, I guess like a wider view. Up front, you get another one, wider view, and then you get a narrow view as well up front. And then of course, your backup camera again. Also, climate control, which I showed you, You've got your apps button here. It does a lot of bunch of things in here that you can go through. Navigation, your phone settings for Bluetooth and backup camera again. Another cool thing on these trucks with the 12 inch screen is that if you press home up top, you can actually do a split screen. So you can have your media up top and then let's say you want navigation at the bottom and you can kind of have a dual screen within the 12 inch screen, which is really, really nice. One thing that I kind of wish Ram did a little bit different or changed the color on is that this little, I don't know what you call this, I guess like a little design or whatever. It kind of looks like pebbles. Uh, I, I wish they blacked it out or did something to it. But again, you can always do aftermarket stuff, I'm sure. But again, it's a unique, unique feature, but I would have them, you know, change it up a little bit, make it a different color or something or a different design. I think it would look much, much better. If you look at the top, you've got a bunch of buttons, obviously interior lighting. And then if you open the door, you want the lighting on or off, your tailgate release, assist and SOS buttons right there. You've got your sunroof settings here. You can open it or vent it. And you got your rear window, which is a power sliding window at the back. And this is for your sunshade, which opens all the way back because this has a panoramic sunroof. And like I mentioned, this truck has a ton of brown. Even the roof is like a light brown finish, which goes all around. So this truck is, you know, it definitely reminds me of a cowboy style, you know, Texas style truck, but hey, it's growing on me and it looks really, really cool. So now let me show you how high the air suspension raises. So I'm gonna keep clicking this until it goes to the very, very top setting right there. And here it'll show you what setting it's going in. And in a second here, let it do its thing. The truck is actually moving. You won't be able to see it, but I'll show you outside. I don't think you can see it outside, but I think it's already done raising, I believe. But this is how high the truck goes. You can see the difference from when I first showed you it was like right up to there and it raises up to here. Now you can clearly see the little canister for the air suspension and all of that clearly now. Coming over to the driver's side here, again, you've got more wood trim all across here and you've got a little bit of storage in here. It's on the driver's side as well. And of course you get more of this silver pebble type feel texture on both sides as well. Opening up the glove department, you've got a little bit of storage here to put whatever you need to. Up top, if you press this, you get a little bit of more storage here. And again, you get the limited Longhorn Edition, I guess etched into the wood, which I would call it, what looks really, really cool. Here's the actual window sticker of this 2021 Ram 1500 Limited Longhorn. Again, you can see it's in you know the Mountain Brown, which is the 10th anniversary package, Patriot Blue exterior color. And then you got your base price, along with all of your options listed right here, and then your full price with the options. Again, this is not the full price of the truck. Obviously you get manufacturer discounts, dealer discounts on top of that. If you're looking for a very unique truck, then you should definitely take a look at the 2021 Ram 1500 Limited Longhorn in the 10th anniversary edition. That's it for this beautiful 2021 Ram 1500 Limited Longhorn in the 10th anniversary edition. Let me know in the comments down below if you love it or if you hate it.